Good morning everybody, heading out to do a little prospecting. It's calling for rain, but uh, if I don't go today, it's gonna to rain every day this week. But it looks like it's kind of stalling out and just raining on the east side of the county and the west side is just gonna be gloomy. Some big trucks. About to come up to the river here. No clue how much water's in it because the rain has been sporadic over the last 72 hours and this turns uh, this runs into the Yakin River way on up Let's see if we can take a look real quick well that looked pretty ideal it was pretty low and it wasn't too milky well I brought the little bitty sluice today here it is UW Harry. All right. Don't have any real plans set out for today because of the water levels. So I brought some options. It looks like I can make it in just my boots. And um, probably best I didn't hike two hours away because of the rain. But I do have my, my poncho and things like that with me. And I'll be just fine out here. Might get a little wet, but it's not thunderstorms coming. So I'm not that worried. That's the Uari Prospector Cemetery that I know of. I don't know of any others. So I'm going to get geared up and do the short hike down the hill. Pick this spot because it's not too bad of a hike and it seems to be good gold every time I go. But I'm going to go a different way and uh, explore the straights part. I've been all over the rock bars and the curve. I'm going to go down the straights. There's a lot of boulders in there. A lot of opportunity. Hope we can get a little gold. I just got a little sluice, a gold pan, and a little crevicing equipment. Let's see if we can find any gold today. Not a super long trip. A lot of the trails washed clean, and the wash that I walked beside, it's obvious it's been washed out pretty hard recently. I'm glad I decided to just go ahead and bring the waders down because I'm starting to see the creek down there, and it's looking higher and muddier than the the river. So that can happen. Well, dang, check this out. We'll see the creek's way down there and three feet below that ledge, at least. You can see mud on these rocks up here, mud on the leaves. It's flooded up here recently. It's come up seven, eight feet. And you can see there, eight, ten foot in the tree there. Oh, even 12 foot up in that tree. There's, wow, it really did flood here at some point in time recently it wasn't like this last time jp and i were here i say uh three weeks ago or so wow that is a lot of water i, I didn't expect that well i plan to do some exploring down through this stretch here and hit some of these pockets hopefully but it's a little high it's going to be easier to do when it's lower and uh boy that's flowing Check this out. That's some scat right there. Something has been eating blackberries nonstop. And that's a lot of it. Good God. What the, what in the world? Time to regroup. I'm gonna get in my waders and get suited up and get ready. And uh, I might spoon me out a little crevice on this bedrock I'm standing on. Maybe there's a little gold there. But I still haven't decided which way I'm going to go. I'd like to put eyes on new area. I love I love seeing new areas. I'm standing, I can find gold near where I'm at, but I think I'm going to walk a good little cross and go downstream a little bit if I can learn how to talk right and see if I can put eyes on new spots. Check this out. Notice this was I was putting on my waders up under here. You see a layer of quartz they got shot up into this rock like a seam this is kind of stuff that they was chasing out here there's a couple of different types of mining you can do in this area well that they did in this area there's not many things they let you do now but to me it looks like that's been cleaned out and this has kind of been artificially taken aback because uh as we just noticed how heavy it floods up through there 
these corners are quite sharp and angular. I know it freezes and it cracks in sharp angles and it falls out. But it seems a little helped along. This is hanging out a good ways here. So cool. Quartz seams. Full of gold. So I'm just going to spoon me up some uh, mud and stuff from these little cracks and crevices with my little handy dandy big spoon here and see what we get. Oh, no nuggets or pickers today so far. But I wasn't a skunk. I can see some super fine little gold in there. So that was, that's not going to be worth doing today. I got to figure out what I want to do. I think I'm just going to pack up my stuff and go for a little walk. See if we can see something right down there that looks nice. Man. This entire point has been scrubbed over. Wow. Let's go downstream see what it looks like. It looks thick. I don't see a trail really. All the ferns changed position, so I guess this is far enough in that the water loses all its momentum and it takes a right turn, flows downhill back into the stream along this ridge where I wanted to prospect today. Hmm. So that might be a good spot in the future. Kind of a fallout area. I've decided this is going to be the area I'm going to work, work on today and explore and prospect around. I see bedrock right through here. And a lot of slats full of material. This recent flood has moved some stuff. I'm going to show you this. There's a whole bar in there. Pretty much it goes down to here. Extends all the way up to there. That's loose fresh material that just got blown in from upstream. So this thing was ripping. So that must be a low pressure area. After all the, there's a lot of drops up there. A lot of elevation change. And it kind of levels off here and widens a little bit. So this is a fallout spot. This is probably all just light material though. The gold I'm looking for seemed to be something that moved long ago. Because everything recent seems to be that fine flood gold. So we're going to spin around and look down. So as far as I can see this way and that way. I'm going to do a little exploring. Try the middle. Try some of this bedrock. There's some big rocks with some fallouts behinds. I don't know how often these get scrubbed or cleaned out, but it looks like there's some potential in here. But it got muggy. So I'm going to cool off a second, get a game plan, start doing some tests. Find a little bit more shiny. I was pawing and scraping and clamming around down there trying to clean that little slot out and got it pretty clean and Ain't got a whole lot to show for it here. There's a couple of tiny dots in there, but just as well. I don't think I could sustain that type of stuff today. It ain't agreeing with me. There's a few little select areas on this side where you can see some heavies grouped together. So I might just take a little spot pan walk and see what happens. Hey guys, checking in. I finally found some heavies. This flood wash, this just washed it down good. Can I get a speck of gold in here? Okay. A lot of fines. I'm seeing a lot of fines there. Six or eight. I don't know if you'll pick them up. Super fine stuff. Okay. That's a start. But it's starting to thunder too, so. Oh no, I get run out of here. Now I consider that a good test pan. I can tap out a couple little flecks of gold like that. That's super nice. Let's we'll see if there's any more hiding under that black sand. Probably just some fines. So I found me a little pocket of Uwari Pay. It's easy to dig once you get going in it. Easy to classify. But it's pretty tough to pan down. It takes a good while because it's just, it's just what it is. So that's the perfect material to try to run through a sluice gives you a little break from just digging all the time I don't mind that sometimes so it looks like on the other side of the stream it's a perfect little spot it's not too hot like in the middle so I'm gonna bring my gear up here that's even better it's 40 yards closer to getting out I'm gonna have to see if I can pull the weather up on the phone because I don't know it might get bad 
Cool. That was a good pan. So here's a little creek sluice I'm going to use today. I'll have to do until I get the one I want. But a tip on this, when you store it, make sure you store it flush here. And it'll be pushed up tight there. I keep those a little loose. And the indicator mat goes under the mat here to keep it nice and flat. And then when you pull the indicator mat out, you slide it till you see the letters, tighten it down, secure your mat, and rock and roll. All right, let's get some. I've forgotten how finicky these little things are to get set up right. I still don't think it's right. But it's going to be good enough for now. I might make a few adjustments on it. Well, I've moved it a couple times, and I guess that's the best I'm going to get it. As soon as I get enough flow, it's it's underwater, and it, I don't know, I just can't get it right today. So I found my pocket of quartz over there, and I decided to do a test pan out of it while I baby feed the sluice. And a little crystal. It's got the shape to it. It's not clear, though. Popped out. Yeah, there's still a little mud in there. i got to wash that a little better. Well, thanks, Mr. Turtle. I saw a piece of a turtle shell. And that's where I decided to dig, and that's where all the quartz came up. There's a couple pieces bigger than we've seen today, and then the bigger one over here. So there's going to be a lot of finds in there, probably. Very cool. Test pan 2 from the turtle hole. That's a nice show of color. There's some decent bits there, and there's a lot of finds. That's a really nice test pan. Well, if I hadn't I got bored feeding this thing, I wouldn't have tried there. So everything happens for a reason. There we go. Fantastic. Let's get in it. Still ain't raining. I'm done filling with that sluice. I just couldn't quite get it right today. Too much flow, not enough. Too much drop, not enough. And remember, those test pans were fines. So to get this kind of show of color is, is good enough for me. So I'm going to snuff this up. And I'm going to start uh, moving around. The turtle hole stopped shelling out after a few pans. So I'm going to have to regroup on that too. Now that's, now that's nice. Now we're talking. Where did that test pan come from? Ooh. Look at all those colors. That's some good stuff. Where did I get that? Hmm. <laughs> I might have to remember that spot. I'm all packed up. And the rain's threatening, but it just ain't here. So I'm doing some little spot pans and oh, see if I can cherry pick some nice spots. It's working out so far. That is a really nice test pan. It's uh, taking a while to pan this stuff down. You get into the real dirty stuff, hard to dig, and that's where the gold is. Hey, checking in. It's time to leave, but I found this big rock, and after you can't move it after a while, it becomes like a, you know, a kind of a challenge deal. And, clean the clay out from around it and I finally moved it now here's the two or three test pans that I pulled up as I was cleaning out from around this rock so I'm gonna snuff this up after show it to you and finally go over and do a pan from under the rock see if there's any gold down there so this test these test pans added up pretty nice there's some flaky bits I'm enjoying this well this stuff from under the big rock there's some big rocks in there and small rocks, but almost all of it is coated in clay. Pockets of this sandy clay here. You can feel a lot of grit in it. But it's usually good when there's pockets of it that way between the rocks. Let's hope it's pretty good because either way, this is the last pan. All right, last pan. This was uh, two three quarters pans because I didn't overfill them because of the clay in there. That is a lot of color. Boom. No, that's just two test pans, guys. So I think I found a little spot. I don't know how much material there to work. It's rough, uh, rough digging, slow going, hard panning. All right, guys, that's it for me down here at the creek. Thanks for coming along. It's just a short little trip, short video. Hope it is anyway. And uh, I got my snuffer dumped out of here to show you what the take is. I'm not worried about weighing it. Probably ain't enough to weigh, but a nice little bit of gold. All right, until next time, get in the creek and get that gold. All right, here's the show of color for the day. I zoomed in, so you know that's pretty fine stuff. I can back out and you can see, but you can still see it from here. Not too shabby for really just a pan and a few hours down on the creek.
Guys, I chose the area that I call the Rock Bar Straits, and it has a lot of small name features in there. No camping in here. I've recorded this before, but the footage was just terrible. There's an enclosed area. There's no camping. Looks about like an acre almost. It goes back in there. It's a metal rail goes all the way around it. This is an old graveyard from long ago, from the prospectors way back when. Don't know if this is a homestead or not. Haven't seen any chimney stacks or such, but I will show you some of the some of the remnants here. What we have here is a tombstone and it's sunken in. You can see other areas in here that are sunken as well, but there are no stones. That's one of the largest, more prominent stones. I hate to think of the hardships these old timers went through trying to find their gold. From this side, I can pick out eight different stones. Uh, some of those things in the background, they are um, one, two, three, and the line there, they are uh, little pine stumps that have been chopped down. But most of the stones aren't big. And you can see other sunken areas. But it seems to all be on the left and the right. There's one. And it comes up through the middle here. And you can see other ones. And these are very old. What, 200 years almost? So, that's when the gold rush was going on here. Very early in the 1800s.